form of oppression. That's lobotomizing or exploiting or conning or tricking or swindling. When you don't get the information, it's like having a liberty taken away from you. But I would like to go on. You and I are both excited about this. This 676 has gone farther than it's ever gone before because of some clever and wise and in the name of the people things been being done by a man named... Well, uh, there's a gentleman uh, named uh, Representative Wiener, Wiener from uh, New York, and he's introducing an amendment, you, you probably have heard about this, to essentially uh, replace... Uh, Anthony our, Wiener. Thank you, Anthony, sorry. Uh, to uh, essentially replace uh, large segments of, of the uh, HR 3200, uh, which is the, the House version of you know, the usual health care reform these days. Um, and he's basically saying, let's essentially replace, you know, the gobbledygook that we're hearing today <laughs> with HR 676, which is just a straightforward, simple, one public payer system. Uh, health care is a human right. You need care, you get care at the ready. Uh, and as he began to speak and, about it. And so he, that's, that's one thing that's coming up. Uh, I, there's also one other thing. But he was uh, the most yeah, important please, thing ahead. is the parliamentary maneuver. He began to go speak ahead. about it, and the, the chairman of that particular committee, health, education, welfare, whatever it was, I can't remember the name of the committee at the moment, passed a message on from from uh, Pelosi, which is that if he will withdraw and yield, they will guarantee an open discussion of 676 so people will hear the information if they want to and reporters if they will not continue their henchman status of perpetrating these frauds will be able to learn more about it at least it'll be discussed and if anybody wants to chase after they can find out about it instead of the the obscure blocking out of that information that's been going on so i i you brought up the wiener amendment er earlier and that's what the Anthony Weiner uh, manipulation was. So all of a sudden, it's going to be on the table. It's going to be talked about in up or down in a full session of Congress. And that's because of people that are doing things like Joel. And I want us to go on to talk about your word, you're called an action group. And that's exactly what we stand for in this program. I'd like you to give credit again to these people and tell people what they can do to get, to get out and around and, and inform others and reproduce themselves, so to speak. Uh, to make more and more of this happen now, not this. Let's compromise. Let's wait. It's not time. Take it as far as we can. Okay. Now, a, a question that just came up from the audience was has to do with with this. If you want to. Oh sure. Uh, some people are are confused with Obama's plan for public option versus single payer. Can you speak to this? Yes. Um, uh, is Dr. Hall here? You want to come up? While she's while she's coming up, I can I can. Well, okay. That oh, okay. Right so the, available. So the, okay. So a lot of people are wondering about this public option, right? I guess uh, versus yeah, sing, single payer. Um, the, you know, I think the one hope that we have for publicly funded healthcare, which is essentially people supporting one another, it's looking at the we we not the me kind of thing. Um, is this public option. And uh, the public option is essentially um, an option where you can buy health insurance um, from a Medicare-like program that would be set up. And this Medicare-like program, because there are already 45 million people in Medicare over age 65, um, you know, Medicare has a lot of uh, negotiating leverage with drug companies, um, with with medical device companies, um, with hospitals, and, and with physicians. And so Medicare has the negotiating leverage. Uh, and first of all, they, they have much lower administrative costs. And we have about one, about one minute here. We only have just but, a few well, seconds here, Dr. Hall. Do you want, but uh, let me just, do you want, yeah. I'm, I'm, we'll we'll so, come back to Dr. Hall, but let's, so, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Hall, so Dr. Let, me Hall just, let me just finish with the distinction between the public option and single payer. So the public option, uh, it would, would actually be a road to, to Medicare for all, which would, would, would we call single payer. Um, so the public option is, you know, is the one hope that you know that we have. Where um, if Obama's plan does get passed, we we really do need a public option. Um, it's it's not the not the best name in the world. I think it could be called AmeriCare 
or, or something like that. We'll but it would and... use it would be a Medicare like program. Dr. Joel Albers will be on with Dr. Uh, Dr. Hall is all I have here from her. We'll be back with her in just a minute. Stay with us. 952-946-6205. We'll talk a little bit more about the difference between the thrill of healing the high and mighty might save the governor all the care he needs it comes free with his job oh yes it's free for him but is it free for the rest of us before we go on i'm back with dr joel albers uh with UCAN minnesota and we'll be talking for a second with dr she, she's came out of our audience uh in just a second i'll be talking uh there's something uh what is your first name my name is kathleen hall dr kathleen hall uh, she'd like to say a word or two to us here, but I want to remind everybody that some other people are part of the grassroots movements, not just legislators and congressmen and so forth, but we've got, as I mentioned before, the Physicians for National Health program who are, uh, there's a group of them who are calling themselves the mad as hell doctors, and they ain't going to take it anymore, I suppose would be the rest of it going back to the film called Network. They will be coming on the 16th of September this year at 3 p.m. It'd be sponsored by the PNHP, by the way, PNHP uh, Minnesota.org is the website, and the Minnesota Universal Healthcare Coalition, MUHCC.org. And again, Joel's network, Dr. Joel Albers network is you can you I'm going to have him say it quickly. Universal Healthcare Action Network of Minnesota. So it's www.uhcan-mn.org. And they have been doing a lot. Dr. Albers has been doing a lot with a lot of wonderful people who are coming from all corners out here with a big banner and so forth. But we're also handing out a, a, a flyer here. So anybody that would like to get a copy of it, it's right back there by the big banner. Uh, they'll be here, the Mattis Health Physicians will be here on the 16th of September, I'm repeating, at 3 p.m. And they will be at the state, the, in St. Paul, Minnesota, the state capitol rotunda. There'll be a rally and a town hall for health care reform. Help these doctors on their way to Washington. This fall the rubber gloves meet the road, say they. Then, uh, at the Jean Doc, Jean Doc Auditorium in Whitby Hall, St. Catherine University at 7 p.m., there will be a presentation by Mattis Health Physician Dr. Paul Hochfield uh, of the program Hazardous, Hazardous to Your Health. If this is part of the healthcare reform series. So September 16th at 3 p.m. at the State Capitol Rotunda and at 7 p.m. Jean d'Arc Auditorium, Whitby Hall, St. Catherine University. I wanted to make sure we got that out. Now, going back over to Dr. Kathleen Hall. Hi, thank you for letting me speak for a moment on your show. Um, I'm a physician, a general internal medicine physician in Minneapolis, and I happen to be a, a mad as hell doctor. Um, I think the way that we're practicing medicine in this country is immoral and has been for a long time, and I'm uh, really proud of the work that Air America is doing, uh, educating me on show, shows like Tom Hartman's show. As yes, a, yes indeed, here, here. As well as this show, which has really been terrific, letting uh, you know me become a, more aware of the issues. Um, I'm a member of Joel's group, UCAN Minnesota. I'm a member of Physicians for a National Health Program at the Minnesota level. And um, I'm a primary care doctor. I worked at the county hospital in Minneapolis for many, many years. And I'm in a private practice now and hope to do community health in the future. But if we don't figure out how to um, look at our needs as citizens and as groups of citizens first in terms of how we might think about delivering health care, we're not going to get to the right answers. So I think it's appropriate that we're angry and, at, and, and drawn to action such as the ones that you're hearing about today. So I just wanted to come on and uh, show my gratitude and thanks. Well, we're grateful to you, Doc.